Look at that, mate! There's a good one! It's your mate Benny Mac, back in the sky, what a garage! Oh, I hope you're all doing well, fellas. Getting all uh, relaxed for the weekend. Hope you get some time in to build some models. Uh, Saturday night here for me, guys. Just uh, enjoying a few quiet drinks and... I was going to do a little bit of work on trying to finish up the um, 2010 Camaro, but uh, I got a call, got to go in for overtime tomorrow, guys, so I'll have to get up early, but, but I looked down in my stash, guys, and noticed the 1937 custom Ford convertible kit sitting there, and I realised I hadn't even cracked the cellophane and had a look at it yet, fellas. Um, yeah, normally I can't help myself when I get a new kit, guys, I normally crack it straight away and have a look what's in the box, but... Uh, I brought this one at the Hobby Expo when I went to, with Clem Day a few months back, just before Christmas, October, can't even remember now. But, um, yeah, I was starting to cut the cellophane off to check it out, and I thought, hang on a minute, I haven't done a kit review here for a while, so I thought I'd throw the camera on the bench, fellas, and um, we'll have a look what comes in the box together, eh? It uh, looks like a pretty sweet looking car i really like the look of it especially um on the side here without the roof just that convertible look man it just looks sleek and tough i don't know man just love the look and the size of the box i'll give you a comparison guys that's your normal revel kit and as you can see it's a good nearly inch bigger all the way around so uh, interesting to see what comes in the box my friends so uh, Without any further ado, we will cut this bad boy open. Right. Let me put this away before it rolls off the desk and stabs me in the foot. <laughs> Alright, we'll get rid of that. Okay, so this is definitely a different type of box so anyway guys before I open it we'll have a quick look around it uh, features detailed chassis with complete suspension chrome plated parts vinyl tiles detailed interior 1 in 24th scale Lindenberg kit fellas uh, school level 3 oh, this might be a bit testing but uh, that means it's probably got some good details so it should be a good kit hopefully haven't done a lot of Lindenberg kits, but they're not too bad. I have had a couple of bad ones, but... Anyway, guys, we'll open the box. It's definitely a different packaging style than what I'm used to. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just drag one out at a time. Alright, so in the first bag we come across, we have the main lower frame, I guess, with your fenders. And it's actually got the frame in there. I'll cut it open for you guys. We'll get it out and have a look. So, your lower frame. And I must say, it looks pretty good, fellas. I can't see any flash lines, mold lines, except for where they've cut it off the sprue here. It's very nice. And then we've got the main frame for it. Once again, damn, I'm pretty happy with how that's been molded, guys. And you got some of the uh, springs there for your suspension. And looks like, I think, in your part of your dash. Alright, that's it for the first packet. Next packet, guys. I think I'll leave this one in the plastic. We can see through that. Uh, looks like part of your bottom chassis, and I'd say something else, it's either your part of your sh chassis or couldn't tell you. Uh, do your hood. Another weird looking piece, which I have no idea until I get into the instructions. Sorry, fellas. And I'm guessing that'll be your firewall. Alrighty, next bag. Alright, we've got a. Loose tyre here in a bag of clear, which isn't probably too good, but we've got a front and back window. Kind of looks like there's a line going through that. Yeah, I might have to see if I can polish that out. 
I don't know if you can see guys, there's a, I don't know if it's a scratch or a line running straight through both of those. And we've got your headlights, oh, they're pretty cool, look how they're molded fellas. Nice real sort of dome, hollow. Alright, I'll put that back in the plastic so she doesn't get scratched anymore. Hopefully I can get those little marks out. And yeah, here's one of the tyres. Yeah, it looks pretty good, low profile, nice little tread pattern. Okay, we'll dig deep into this box and we've got the main body. Man, I'm really liking how this thing's been moulded. I can't see... Apart from your usual sort of little marks there, which will come out with a light sand. Yeah, there's not really any mould lines at all, fellas. Man, that's cool. Obviously, cut all this out. That's just for support. Uh, yeah, it might even make a nice looking rat rod. Or, I don't know, I really want to build it sort of with how it comes in the box. But I don't know, after the zombie build, fellas, that was kind of fun. Chopping and changing a few bits and pieces. Alright guys, in this packet, uh, looks like we've got some of the engine, and differentials, suspension, and your main tub for your interior, and then you've also got the um, the roof if you want to, I'll probably paint it up anyway just so you can sit it on there, but I reckon it's going to look heaps better without it. And then just the seats which are a bit hidden there guys, but there is a... There's a pretty cool little pattern on them. Might be able to pick them out and detail them a bit. And yeah, a couple of hoses. Uh, we've got the radiator and your interior for the doors. Alright, next tree looks like chrome. And it's not in plastic, unfortunately. Uh, I don't like it when they do that. But anyway, it doesn't look too bad. So we've got the side chrome pieces, which you can see on the box art. And you've got your yeah, wheels, they look pretty cool. A couple of deep dishes for the back. And some not as thick for the front, I'm guessing. And then we look like we've got your headers. And they must be some part of your engine, I'm guessing, guys. Or they could be... Ooh, yep, no idea. And then we got your front grill. That'll look pretty cool once I do some black washing on that. Uh, looks like we've got a mystery piece missing. Uh-oh. Uh, steering wheel. Uh, a couple of little hinges, maybe. And looks like your exhaust, guys. Just some your chrome trim. So yeah, it looks pretty, like pretty good chrome anyway. Okay, I can see that missing chrome piece buried back here. It was. Ooh, part of the exhaust. Alright, looks like we've got one tree left, my friends, which is going to be majority of the engine by the looks of it. Okay, so we've got some, yeah, most, mostly engine components. There's your engine block halves, and we top manifold stuff. And it'll be your uh, alternators and your heads and stuff up here, which aren't chromed. No, they don't even give you an option for chrome heads, so... But, yeah, I must say, guys, um, normally Lindenberg, I'm not normally a big fan of their kits, but, yeah, this one looks pretty good. There's not a lot of pieces, so it should be a cool, fun little build. And I'll just give you a look in the difference of the tyres, so, yeah, you can really see the difference there, guys. It'll be front and rear wheels, so that'll give it a pretty cool stance, I reckon. And anything left in the box, my friends, would be the instructions. The good old Lindenberg, rolled out A3 size. Oh, hang on, I've got a tiny little. Oh, it doesn't look good. It's a bit stuck. Oh, 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 we got her off. Okay, so it just gives you basically instrument cluster for your interior. Little decal sheet. Focus, Mr. Camera. There we go. And four different styles of number plate. And then just your usual instructions, guys. Uh, pretty basic. Look like they're pretty well easy to follow, so. But that's about it, fellas. I just thought I'd um, do a quick look and 
I don't know if you call these videos reviews, but that's what we'll call it, eh? So that would be the 1937 custom Ford convertible Lindenberg 1 in 24 scale, my friends. That's what comes in the box. Uh, I reckon it looks pretty cool. It doesn't look like hardly any cleanup at all is going to be involved, so that's always a good thing. But that's about it, my friends. Actually, before I go, I promised Mr. Nelson Medeiros. I'll put his name up down the bottom, fellas. Made from Canada. He uh, sent me one of his postcards that he made for his channel for the uh, BSG Customs Garage. And yeah, really, really came out nice, man. Like the quality of that. So left a nice little message for Benny Mac on the back. So. Alright fellas, that's about it for Benny Mac. Thanks for watching and subscribing and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next video, fellas.